Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. Unfortunately, nothing made out of wood. But I'm super excited and it's why I'm sharing it with you. This week, I'm fixing my clock. I know that for you, this clock is only a couple of months old. But for me, I built it more than a year ago. But now I'm having trouble with it. Uh, when Renée broke her ankle, she was unable to wind it and I forgot to do it. And when I noticed, it was not working anymore. I tried to make it work again and it wouldn't start. The pendulum stopped working after just a couple of seconds. With all the works that went into this box, I really wanted a clock there. So I watched a video on the internet on how to fix a clock mechanism like this one. And here's what I did. First of all, I had to get the mechanism out of the box. And just like I've seen on the internet, I saw that all the oil in the pivot holes was full of gunk. This doesn't surprise me because this clock is almost 50 years old and I think it was never cleaned before. The way professionals clean this is to dismantle the clock and put everything in an ammonia solution. But I've seen one guy who cleaned his clock with brake cleaner. I said to myself, this would be much easier. So I will begin with that. I sprayed a good quantity of brake cleaner everywhere where I can see a pivot. This really did a great job. All the gunky oil that I saw before vanished. So I oiled all the pivots. I bought this special clock oil. As a matter of fact, <laughs> the shipping cost more than the oil itself. But even after this, eh, the clock still wasn't working. So I tried to unwind the spring and wind it again just to see if it would make a difference. But it didn't. That's when I decided to take the clock mechanism apart. I began by removing the pivot of the pendulum. And it's just then, when the pivot was out of the clock, that the clock went crazy and turned at an unbelievable fast speed. Maybe it's not obvious on the video, but believe me, the minute end is spinning like crazy. So I just put back the pendulum pivot and readjusted the pendulum. Now everything seems to work correctly. So I put the clock back inside the case, but with only two screws. Then I took a time lapse of the clock just to see if it was working correctly. And as a matter of fact, the clock worked all night. I was super happy. So the next day I reassembled it like it was before. Put it at the right time and put it back on the wall in Renée's office. So when she will be able to go back into her office, she will have a working clock in front of her. I hope this video will help you if one day you will be stuck with a clock that doesn't want to work. And see you soon for another episode of The Woodpecker.